Hi guys, how you doing? This is to be a tutorial on how to go about setting up the Pirate Browser on your Windows PC. Now, it's likely, if you're viewing this video, you're like myself, I live here in the UK, and I'm finding on a day-to-day -day basis more and more content that is being restricted, that is being blocked, and that is suffering from censorship. And we're not talking about copyright information here, that's a completely different discussion for a different time. We're talking about content that should be freely available for everyone. That is getting blocked, that is getting stopped, and that is getting censored. Now, one way you can do that, and one way you can access information, is to use like the Tor browser. But today we're going to be talking about the Pirate browser that enables us a new, a simple way to access websites that are being blocked. And of course, the most famous one that everyone talks about is the world's most resilient website, that is the Pirate Bay. This will be a image of a page that is probably familiar to many of you. Is sorry, this web page that has been requested is not available through Virgin Media. And of course, if you were to use the the kind of long-term surfix, really, of the Pirate Bay, it's now just a remote server being blocked by Google. They're not even being found, in fact. So, Pirate Bay can, in fact, still be found. It is the world's most resilient website for a reason. They created the Pirate Browser. And where you would attain this from is the thepiratebrowser.com. Here we are, no more censorship. The Pirate Browser is a bondage bundle package uh, that features a version of the Vidalia, which is the Tor client, as a, a custom version of Firefox with some custom configs, like it says here, that allows you to get around the censorship that has been placed in countries such as the United Kingdom, where I live, and many other countries as well. And now, for the sake of tutorial, today we're going to be downloading using this self extracting archive, as it's much easier and simpler to put this across in a video for you to do this and to take up this, this action. Of course, there's a magnet link and there's the torrent file as well, so download with whatever you wish. As I said, we're going to use the self-extracting archive. It's about 29, 29 meg, 30 meg, and this is pirate.browser.0.6b.exe. It's completely safe. You can save this. I'm going to put it on my desktop for the sake of simplicity. And it'll take just a few moments to come down. As you can see, it's now complete. Now, usefully, if you were to double-click this, you will see the self-extracting archive ready to open up, and it will create a folder which contains all the program. The best thing about this is this folder here, the Pirate Browser folder, is, much like the Tor Browser, a completely self-contained program in itself. So literally you can put this folder anywhere you like, whether it be your documents folder or whether it be you know, on, on your desktop. So if you want to open this up, and inside you'll find App, Data, Firefox Portable. As I said, it is a custom version of Firefox, and Start Pirate Browser. So if we run this, you'll see it start the Vidalia Control Panel. I'll just take a few seconds to, to go through. What's really cool is it has a, a custom made toolbar as well of a number of the websites, you know, of course, that are frequent to torrent users. Here we have Pirate Bay, Easy TV, FNOP, uh, formerly ISO Hunt, which has now unfortunately disappeared. So here we are, look, the Pirate Bay. Oh, look. Of course, it features the most current version of their server, as well as their, their backup in the, t in the Onion network, in the, in the Onion router network with many of the websites you, that have been blocked here in the UK. So feel free to go and use this. Now it must be clear that this doesn't enable anonymous browsing. That's what the Tor browser does. This is not the Tor browser, it's the pirate browser. So do with it as you will. But it, it does allow you a way to access content that is currently being censored here in the UK. So please spread this message if you like it. If you like what we're going to be talking about. We host a a regular fortnightly radio show called The Rabbit Hole That Is Reality, which we're shamelessly plugging here in the back. But really, it's basically, it's, it's a great radio show. Uh, of course, I am going to say that. But uh, it's talking about social commentary, and topical talk, I guess the kind of things that we are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis happening across the world. And if you're interested in that, just come by, have a listen, have a look at the kind of things we're talking about. Thank you very much for choosing to listen. If you are liking what we're talking about and you are liking the fact that we're creating these videos for a way for people to still access the internet that is out there, please click below on subscribe and like our content. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me ramble and hopefully you've learned something from this as well.